In this video, I'm going to be going over the Pokemon Infinite Fusion installation for Mac. This is an official guide. I am a staff member for Pokemon Infinite Fusion, so you can trust the authenticity of these files. And these are the exact tutorials that we use for our Discord channel, which I definitely recommend you join in. You know, if you have any issues or need help, you can definitely join the Discord channel and ping us in there. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download the game files. I am providing the game for files for you already packaged with the full game and full sprites. So you won't need to do anything else after this. So I am going to provide a Mediafire link or a Google Drive link. I know people prefer one over the other, so just open up one of them and you'll get the Infinite Fusion 6.0.5.rar. I am updating these files um, every time it is updated. So this will always be the latest version of the game when you install it at that time. So go ahead and hit download and it'll start downloading the game. The second thing you'll need to install prior is the unarchiver. What this lets you do is extract these files because it is a RAR file because of how big it is. So you will need the unarchiver to extract it. The third thing you will need is in the description, I'm gonna provide a link to commands to install. And what this is, is it's a simple text file that has all of the commands you need to just put in your terminal and follow the video as I do it. So it makes it a lot easier for you to just copy and paste it. Um, so let's go ahead and start working with the RAR file. What you want to do is you want to right click on the RAR file and hit open with and hit the unarchiver. And what this will do is it'll extract your folder into the in infinite fusion folder where all the game files are. As I mentioned, this is a three gig file with over 300,000 sprites because of how big the game is. So this will take some time depending on how old your Mac is. So when you're extracting this, you know, go ahead and take a break and come back once that's done. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna open up Launchpad here and on the top type in terminal. And this will open up the terminal for you. If you have a prior version of Homebrew, Wine or Wineskin, you want to uninstall those first because you do want the latest version of this for it to work. So I am providing a link here of how to uninstall a homebrew. And if you have wine or wine skin, you should be able to find those in your applications all the way into the W section and find wine stable or wine skin and go ahead and just drag those to the trash and empty out the trash because we're going to be installing those anyways with the latest version of them. So what you want to do is go to step one here highlight this, hit command C, go into here, command V, and press enter. It'll ask for your password, and this is the password that you provide when you are logging into your computer. You won't see any letters type out on the screen, which is fine, but just type it in and press enter. Next, it'll ask you to press enter again, so go ahead and do that, and just wait for this to install. Once this is installed, usually it will say a command here of what you want to do next. It doesn't show it for me because I've already done this, but I've also listed the command here on step two. So on step two, what you want to do is you want to copy this command, hit command C again, go to this terminal, hit command V and press enter. You won't see anything, which is fine. Next, do the same thing for the third step. Command C, command V and hit enter. Now, what we want to do is on the top left where it says terminal, click it and hit exit terminal because we want to make sure that it consumes the installation of homebrew. So let's go ahead and reopen terminal. All right. Next, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and install wine. So let's go ahead and copy this and hit command C, command V and hit paste. And this will start installing wine. After this is installed, go ahead and go to the next step. And we're gonna install Wine Stable, which is the latest version of Wine. If you had a prior version of Wine Stable and you get this error here, that actually means that you have you have not fully completely deleted Wine to be able to complete uh, go through with the installation. So what you have to do is you have to open up Finder and hit Command Shift G, and this will pop up. You want to navigate to this folder here, opt homebrew bin, and press enter and it'll take you here. What you want to do is you want to press command A to select everything, then hold down command and select brew because we want to keep that, but delete everything else. After that, what you want to do is you want to go back to your terminal and press up and press enter and this will go through with installation. This is only if you got an error trying to install wine. All right, afterwards, you'll see that Wine Stable is successfully installed. Next, what we wanna do is we wanna install Wine Tricks. 
So go to step number six, go to the terminal, hit paste, and hit enter. All right, once that is installed, we'll go ahead and get the step for wine skin. We'll go ahead and copy and paste that into the terminal and hit enter. You will be prompted for your password. So go ahead and provide that and hit enter. This is gonna be the password for your computer once again. So now that it says wineskin is fully installed, what we wanna do is we want to close this out because we're not gonna need this anymore. And we're gonna close this out because we're not gonna need this anymore. And we're gonna start working in wineskin. To start off, what we wanna do is we wanna go to Finder, then we wanna go to Applications. And if you scroll to the very bottom, you'll see Wine Stable and Wineskin. So let's open up Wine Stable really quick just so that we can have it opened up. And if there's any, you know, setup wizards or anything like that, it'll go through it. But you'll see here that you should be on Wine 8.0.1. But I think this will just depend on which model of the Mac you have. So we can go ahead and close this out. Next, what we want to do is we want to open up Wineskin Winery. And this is where we're going to do a majority of the work here. So by default, you shouldn't see any engines here. I just have one in here because I've done this installation before. So let me remove it. What I want to do is I want to hit the plus button and I want to select the top most selection here from the dropdown because this is going to be the latest version of the engine. So collect, uh, uh, click on the top one, hit OK and install. All right. Next, everything else looks good. So what we want to do is we want to click on create new blank wrapper. Right here, it's going to be the name of the app you want to create, which is going to be Infinite Fusion and hit OK. Now, after this, you'll get the spinning wheel and it might look frozen. This will depend on the, uh, the model of your Mac as well. So depending on how long, you know, how old your Mac is, this will take a long time. It's basically creating a two gig app for you so that we can use this later on for the game. So just be patient here. Once it is done, you will see this message here saying wrapper creation finished. We'll go ahead and click view wrapper in Finder. What you want to do is you want to move this to your desktop. That way it's a lot easier to work with. And we can close this out and we can close that out. So now what we have is just the wineskin app that we're going to start editing. So let's go ahead and double click on it. And we will get this window here. What you want to do is first you want to hit install software. And from here, we want to select move a folder inside. Click that. And from here, you want to navigate to your downloads folder because that is where we downloaded the game. You do not want to click on the RAR folder. That's why it's um, not highlighted. But you want to click on the folder here for Infinite Fusion for the extracted folder. And when you click on this, you should see all of the files here. So just make sure you only click on Infinite Fusion and then click on Next. What that is going to do is going to it's going to move the folder into this app. And then from here, it's going to ask which file do you want to open? If you want to play the preloaded game because your Mac is, you know, a little bit older and you're known to have performance issues with the game, you want to select the preloaded version of it. I recommend just using game.exe, which is going to be towards the bottom because the files that I provide already have every single sprite. So it's not going to take a lot of internet connections or writing speed of your Mac to get all of these sprites installed because I already gave you all the sprites. So you are going to have a significant performance boost already using my files. So I recommend using game.exe and hitting OK. All right, so let's go ahead and hit quit. So let's go ahead and double click on this. And this will start opening up your game for you. You'll see a black screen, which is normal, and it'll just depend on your Mac model of how long that black screen will be there. But you'll see this green screen and you'll get the intro video. So go ahead and press return on your keyboard. Then once you're on this screen, you can go ahead and press return again. And it'll just give you the terminology here to make sure you didn't install the game from a fake resource and you'll get your game files right here. So now you're ready to just start playing the game. Now I'm going to be showing you where your game files are, your save file, and how to update the game in the future. So go ahead and right click this and hit show package contents. Then go into drive C. If you want your game files, you'll go to program files. If you want your save file, 
it'll go over here. But let me go ahead and show you where game files are. Go to Program Files, Infinite Fusion, and these are where your game files are. So if later on you want to add more sprites, this is the graphics folder to do it. So let me go back and go here. So if you want to go where your save files are, you go back to Drive C, then you go to Users, then go to your name, then what you want to do is you want to go to App Data, then Roaming, Infinite Fusion, and this is where your save file is. So if you're transferring the save file from your PC to Mac, this is the folder of where you want to place it. Now, if you want to update your game, what you have to do is you have to right click here, hit show package contents and click on wineskin. And this will open this up. What you want to do next is you want to hit advanced, hit browse. And what you want to do is you want to navigate to where your game files are. Go to drive C, program files, infinite fusion. And this is where all your game files are. To update the game, you want to make sure you select installer update.bat file. So hit choose and hit X. So now let's close this out and let's double click on this. Next, what it should do is it should run the installer for you. So this will basically just make sure that you're always up to date with the latest version of the game. You can run this as many times as you want, actually. It's not going to affect your game. It's basically just checking to see if you have the latest version. If not, then all right, cool. After you do this, though, what you want to do is you want to revert that change back. So click on Show Package Contents, go back to Wineskin, go back to Advance, and then from here, Browse, go back to C Drive, Program Files, Infinite Fusion, and go ahead and select Game.exe. This is also the same way if you wanted to open up any of these other versions of the game. But let's go ahead and change it back to Game.exe, close this out, and we're all set. If you have any issues, go ahead and let me know in the comments below, or I'll be available in the tech support channel and Discord as well. See ya.